What's up guys, so today I'm doing a short uh, DIY on how to replace your uh, your injectors. Uh, this being for the 1.8 R18. So yeah. All right guys, so today I'm gonna be swapping out my uh, uh, stock uh, injectors. Uh, I will be moving on to uh, the SI uh, 310 injectors just because they're uh, plug and play. But I do have some, uh, oh they're already on a harness, but uh, I do have my uh, my 410s that I'll be doing later on, but I just wanted to kind of get a hang of how to swap them out. So it's not too hard. Uh, so for starters, I went ahead and uh, unplugged the battery and removed uh, uh, it's fuse number two, this is your fuel pump. And also I went ahead and opened the gas cap just to release the uh, fuel pressure. I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but just to be on the safe side. So I kind of went ahead and actually like I'm ready to pull them out, but let me kind of just make everything look the way it will for you guys. So we'll have this thing somewhat poking like that. All I really do is just pry it out. You have one, two, and three tabs, so it just uh, pull it up and Then next after that You'll have a, a bolt right here and a bolt over here. They are both uh, 10 mil So go ahead and remove those Then this should kind of uh, Poke out like like such But before you can actually like pull it out you'll have to uh, unplug this uh, Side right here I think that gives us a signal to the injectors. Then you unplug the first injector, and the second, third, and fourth. Uh, don't quote me, I mean, it may not go in that order, but just to show you guys. And the way you unplug it is by squeezing on both sides. So just squeeze and pull up. So this that doesn't actually come out all the way because it's a uh, wired or hard wired all the way. But I mean it gives you enough room to kind of push it back. Um, so another thing, you can uh, decide to uh, remove the fuel rail. You have uh, this uh, connector right here. This is uh, the feed line. So pretty much you just gotta like with some force pop it up. Uh, I mean as you can see the injectors are exposed so you can just like pull them out and just swap it with the whatever size you want to go or if you want to take it out and clean it or whatever it's going to unplug that backside uh, fuel fuel line so uh, I mean maybe they're a little bit stubborn I don't know this is the first time I'm pulling them out I'm just going to wiggle it a little bit If one hand is enough, but I'm gonna pause this and I'll show you guys. All right, guys. So I forgot there is uh, some fuel left in the in that little uh, rail. So when you pull them out, you'll have some uh, well, some uh, fuel like uh, spilling out. Uh, so I mean, if you want to have a towel, it's not a lot, but I mean, still, if you're you want to be paranoid. But yeah, I guess uh, prior to like yanking it, there is this little. Uh, tab that holds it so as you can see there's another one right here you can just like use your finger and push it back I just don't want to push it back right now because I'm afraid I'll lose it <laughs> with one hand but yeah just push it back and then pretty much just kind of like twist it like back and forth and kind of wiggle it and they'll come right out so after that get your new injectors uh, these are the Alpha Buddy uh, from uh, SI, so these are the, the 310s. Uh, I'm just gonna try them out, just, I mean, why not? I have these, so I'm just gonna put them on while I finish the, the piping, the new cooler piping, which I already got it all figured out, but that'll be to the next video. But yeah, I'm just gonna swap these out and see if there's actually feel a difference. Uh, yeah, guys, let's do it. Comparison. Uh, 
So let me show you guys. Yeah, this full circle one right here, this is 310. I feel focus. Right there, three little circles or six circles. And this one. The focus. There you go, it's like half the circle. But yeah, that's a difference right there. I mean, visually they look the same, but uh, it's all about the spray pattern. So, FYI, you don't have to ram this thing down. I mean, it does require more force to pull it out than to actually push it in. But if you pay attention to this uh, prongs in the back, you see this little stick. Uh, this right here has to just sit on the on the actual prong or fork on the back right there, and then uh, just kind of wiggle it, and you'll know you'll know it's in. So after they're all after all four are plugged in or inserted, is you gotta flip this and find the where's my finger find the holes in the bottom uh, line it and press down so I'm gonna go ahead and use two hands for that all right guys so I'm just uh, just reverse your steps uh, put the two two 10 mil bolts uh, or nuts and then the 210 right here and before I started I want to go ahead and upload my uh, my base map tune for the 310s 